be home again. Kids! Hey, kids! I guess they're not home from school yet. Kids! Oh, well. No reason for him to rush home. I wasn't due until this evening. Yeah, what I don't understand is why you had to come charging back at all. You were doing smash business at the Chez Perry. Just said they were begging to hold you over. You don't understand a lot of things. Kid, today is my birthday. What's the matter? Don't they have cake in Chicago? <laughs> Liz, all year long, the kids look forward to this one day. They make a big fuss over it. Wait, if I wasn't here, they'd be miserable. Here they are with a little presents for Daddy's birthday and no Daddy to give them to. They'd feel deserted. Believe me, I wouldn't deny them this day for anything. Okay, you win, Daddy. <laughs> hey! Hey, you loves. Daddy, what are you doing here? <laughs> I live here. Yeah, but you're not supposed to live here until tonight. <laughs> I, I caught an early plane. What, what, what's the matter? Aren't, aren't you glad to see me? Oh, sure, Daddy. <laughs> nice seeing you again, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Go out now. Oh, you just got here. Well, uh, we just came home to drop off our books. Yeah. Wait a minute, will you? What's wrong with you kids? Don't you know what day this is? Sure, it's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. Hmm. Hey, if I'd have been lucky, I'd have missed that plane. Oh, come on now, Danny. They just forgot. I never forgot before. Well, Brother Williams, the day has arrived. Your kids have outgrown you. Oh, Danny, don't make a mountain out of this. They forgot. Look, I'll bet you five to one before the day's out, they remember. Nah. I'm just not important to them anymore, Liz. They've changed. Oh, come on, Danny. Those kids haven't changed a speck. Isn't that so? There was a time when all Terry lived for was to do things for her dad. Now she forgets my birthday. Kelly, I remember one time what a big fuss she made just because I wouldn't let her do things for me. And what she wanted to do, clean the house and cook for me because her mother was away. I'll never forget it. I was important to him then. Yeah, those were the happy days. She was just a little girl. She was oh, trying to make like a housewife for her daddy. Two dozen eggs. Two pounds of sugar. Also, how are your lamb chops today? Good. How much are they? Fine, I'll take eight. What are you doing? Ordering the groceries. Sit down, I'll be with you in a moment. <laughs> I told you a hundred times, don't play with the telephone. I'm playing with the telephone. What would you like for dinner? Dinner? I haven't had my breakfast yet. Who can think about dinner? How about cookies, peanut butter, and marshmallows? Isn't that thing too big for you? Daddy, I'm preparing breakfast. Honey, let's not play games, huh? I'll take care of the breakfast. But you don't know how. There's a lot more to it than you think. Well, serving a good meal takes a lot of preparation. Thank you, Duncan Hines. <laughs> Go on out and play, and I'll take care of the whole thing. I'll call you when I'm ready. Daddy, you... What? Are you gonna be mommy? Yeah, for the time being. This is gonna be awful. I remember the last time you made breakfast, you sliced bananas with the electric fan. <laughs> I did not. It was an accident. The whole kitchen looked like a big banana split. <laughs> You know something? For a little fella, you got a big mouth. You talk too much. Look at your hands and face. They're filthy. That's okay. I'm taking a bath tonight. <laughs> What's I got to do with your hands and face? I'm saving them for my bath. <laughs> well, stop saving them, huh? Did you wash your ears? Oh, shucks. I always wash my ears, and then I get sent out of the room because I'm too young to hear anything. <laughs> Go wash your ears. <laughs> Kids. Oh, are you over your mad, dear? But, Daddy, I had everything planned. I'm baking a cake for dinner, and I was fixing breakfast. Sweetheart, my back is killing me. I'm up in the middle of the night. Your mother's on jury duty. Louise is sick. 
I'm in no mood for playing games. Now be a good little girl and sit down. I'm not a little girl. Sit down. I don't care how big a little. Just sit down. Daddy, what are you going to fix? Soft boiled eggs. I want soft boiled eggs. That's what you're getting. Jerry was going to fix waffles. He doesn't want me to fix breakfast, and it's perfectly all right with me. <laughs> it isn't all right with me. I want waffles. Will you please butt out of this? Now, Terry, sweetheart, if you behave yourself on your next birthday, I'll buy you the nicest little doll house with the beautiful miniature furniture and teensy-weensy little dolls, and you can cook breakfast for them, okay? I don't play with dolls anymore. Okay, I'll buy you a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> Kids, I try to save you the trouble. You always want to grow up. You know you're not old enough to fool around with Dad! <laughs> Well, why didn't you say so? You know, you want to do everything yourself. No, no, don't be smart, you kid. Ah, ah! <laughs> How did that get so hot? I didn't think so at the time. I hope you had sense enough to let her cook the dinner. Oh, yeah, she cooked the dinner, all right. Cleaned the house, did everything, but I gave all the credit to what's-her-name. What's-her-name who? Just what's-her-name, somebody from the employment agency. I figured came in and did everything. Oh, shame on you. Oh, but I straightened everything out, though. You cut your throat? No, I should have thought of the idea at the time. No, but that night, right after dinner, the doorbell rang. And Terry answered it. Terry Williams? That's me. Package for you. It's for me. It's for me. Well, hold it up. Wonder what's in it. It couldn't be a bicycle. <laughs> Could be a salami. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, here's a car. your name? If you were a baby, I would send you a pink rattle. If you were a little girl, I would send you a blue-eyed doll. But now that you're a big lady, I send these red roses to tell you I love you very much. Daddy! Oh! I think I'm getting a little misty. <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll leave. I never weep in public. Yeah, wait till you get your own kids. You'll be corny, too. Certainly I knew all the time. What do you think I am, an idiot? And don't you answer that. I wasn't gonna say anything. I just don't want to take any chances. My very first roses. Oh, thank you, Daddy. It's my privilege, sweetheart. I'm glad you like them. You're certainly growing up. And I don't mind telling you I don't like it one bit. Sure, the older she gets, the older you get. <laughs> Once, I'd like to say something without you adding to it. Daddy? What? Would you please do me a favor? Sure, sweetheart. Would you please sing Tippy Toes for me? You mean it? Uh-huh. Sure, sit down. Little Miss Tippy Toes, you in your party clothes. Gee, you look sweet, sweet enough to eat. Little Miss Tippy Toes, how could an artist pose? You with that. Turned up nose, your sugar and spice and, and everything nice. Little Miss Tippy Toe, when you tiptoe 
into my room. All my troubles disappear when you tiptoe into my arms. Seems like an angel is near soon. Soon you'll have lots of bows. Yes, that's the way that it goes. You'll marry some guy, but you'll always be my little miss. Tippy-toe. with memories like that, how can you think your kids have changed? They forgot my birthday, didn't they? Oh, Danny. Haven't you forgotten birthdays and anniversaries? Look, I'll bet you any minute they think of it and come tearing back here. I'll bet. Daddy, I just remembered. You see? I just remembered what today is. Well, it's about time. It's the day I'm supposed to get my allowance. <laughs> He didn't remember today was my birthday. He remembered it was the day for his allowance. I'm no father to him. I'm just a money tree. Danny, maybe he wanted the money to buy you a gift. You're right. That's exactly what he wanted the money for. Me and my big mouth. Why'd I have to go and get mad at him? Well, getting mad is one thing, but did you have to tell him to go hop a freight to Chicago? <laughs> did I say that? You certainly did. Last time I said that to him, sure caused a lot of trouble. What kind of trouble? Oh, he was just a little shaver, and he, he kept bothering me about going down to the basement to hunt mice with him. Hunt mice, eh? <laughs> yeah, well, of course, when I refused, he, he threatened to run away from home. <laughs> he wasn't even six years old yet. Imagine that, this little tyke looking up at me and saying, I'm gonna run away. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Very funny. Oh, what happened? He ran away. <laughs> Take me home right away? Of course. Then I don't remember it. <laughs> Is it uh, Williams? I don't remember. Well, can you tell us the name of one of your friends so we can ask them? Oh, sure. Well, good. What's the name of your friend? Laddie. He's my dog. <laughs> well, haven't you got a daddy? Oh, sure, but he hates me. He told me to run away. Your father told you to run away? And hop a freight to Chicago. Now, son, you you know your daddy was only fooling. Used to beat me terrible every night. Every night? Well, not every night. Sometimes when he was tired, he just kicked me. <laughs> uh, well, son, uh, you go into the back room, meet some of the other boys. They'll get you some more ice cream, okay? Hey, it's fun being arrested. <laughs> Ah, fathers. Make the good kids have feelings, too. What do you think we're gonna do? Let's throw a scare into the old man. By the time he walks out of here, he'll be ready to buy that kid ice cream for a month. Two months? Let's give him the full treat. <laughs> my boy. My little boy. Uh, just a minute, sir. Yeah? Can we be of help? My, my little boy. We just on, on the phone. Uh, he's here, isn't he? What uh, did you do with him? Uh, can you describe this boy, sir? <laughs> Sonny, I can describe him. He's my son. He's that tall, and he's got two eyes. Uh, he's got blue eyes. Uh, they're brown. Are you sure you're this child's father? Certainly I'm sure. Well, I'm just doing my job, sir. Well, look, I'm Danny Williams. Excuse, I'm a little bit nervous right now. Danny who, sir? D Danny Williams, the comedian. Then make us laugh. <laughs> What? If you're a comedian, make us laugh. Oh, this is silly. We're just servants of the people doing our duty, sir. Oh, this is very unusual procedure. I'll speak to the commissioner about this. Make us laugh, sir. <laughs> well, you hear the story about the motorcycle policeman who ran over himself? 
<laughs> See, he came home from work and he said to his wife, run over and get me some cigarettes, honey. And she says, no, so he ran over himself. <laughs> 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 Think. Couldn't be. How can he earn a living? Oh, well, that was good. Terry, hey, that's my boy. Oh, wait Rusty. just a minute. Come here, son. Now, is this your father? No. <laughs> what? Never saw him before in my life. <laughs> oh, Rusty, I know you're mad at Daddy, but uh, I've been having a little trouble with these policemen now. You tell them I'm your father. If you're my father, what's my teacher's name? What are we going to do, play games? Come on, let's oh, go. Wait there. just a minute. <laughs> what is his teacher's name? Teacher's name is Miss, uh, Miss, uh, one of those long, difficult, uh, Miss, uh... Smith. <laughs> That's it, Smith. <laughs> long, difficult Smith. When's my birthday? Oh, I got you there. <laughs> February. February, uh... <laughs> February, uh... I have a little address book. I keep all this information. I, I left it home. Uh, my son was born on May the 29th, 1946, at 2.13 a.m. Weight, 6 pounds, 13 ounces. Now there's a father! <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a boy. <laughs> well, uh, I guess I've made a mistake. Uh, you're right. You're not my son. If I were your father, I'd certainly remember all those things. But you've taught me a lesson, young man. If I ever do have a son, I want him to be just like you. Yes, sir, just like you. Believe me, I'll never break my promises to him, and I'll love him very much. Yes, sir, I'll love him very much. I think I'll go home and order a new batch of mice for our basement. <laughs> Bye, young man. Just a minute, sir. Yeah. Uh, did you get that confession down? Yes, sir. We got him on the worst charge of all, impersonating a father. A serious charge. Oh. Ten years in solitary. On bread and water. Oh, no. In fact, sir, I don't like your attitude. What? The judge happens to be a very good friend of mine. I think I can get you hung. What? Nothing personal, <laughs> sir. Just doing our duty. Would tomorrow morning be convenient for the hanging, sir? Oh, no. That's my boy. Don't throw him in jail for a while. <laughs> He's a great kid, all right. Yeah. That's why he wanted the allowance, mm -hmm. so he could buy me a gift, I'm sure. Sure. Well, back so soon, huh? Yeah, uh-huh. I know why you wanted the allowance. So you and Terry could buy that. You shouldn't have. Why not? We've been saving up for two weeks to buy this erector set. <laughs> Come on, Rust. I'll help you build a bridge. Okay. Then we can take it down and show it to Mr. Shermerhorn. He'll tell us if we did it right or not. Okay. Sure, sure. Show it to Mr. Shermerhorn. Don't show it to Daddy. What does Daddy know about bridges? <laughs> what does Daddy know about anything? He's just an actor. He knows nothing. <laughs> You're absolutely right. They haven't changed one bit since the day they were born. Everybody knows more than their father. Oh, come on, Danny. Don't ham it up. Well, that's the truth. I remember when they were little, they got all wrapped up in some sea captain and lived down in a basement. They couldn't see me for dust. Boy, I remember what I had to go through to win them back. Boy, you're sure in a remembering mood. There's more than I can say for the other two members of this family. Besides, it's my birthday, and a man has privileges on his birthday. If I want to remember, I'll remember. Okay, remember. I will. <laughs> but come to the palace, see? What, do you mind if I get a low seat? <clears throat> you like some popcorn? Thanks. Anyhow, I took them backstage to prove to them that actors were just as important as sea captains. And that show business was very glamorous, too. I tell you, Liz, I never worked as hard for a real audience as I did for those two kids. What a performance I had. Look behind you. Look at the storm clouds gathering. 
And now, the thunder and the lightning. Isn't that wonderful? The terrible storm at sea. All right, shall we land now? All ashore for New York City. And Fifth Avenue, right this way. It's, it's just like magic. Sure, sweetheart. That's the magic of the stage. Especially this stage. Why, some of the greatest shows in the world were put on right on this stage, and people came from miles around to see them. Thousands of people came. Those who were tired went away refreshed. And those who were, who were sick went away feeling better. And people who were sad went away feeling very happy. What was it, a saloon? <laughs> But what was it, a saloon? The palace, he calls a saloon. <laughs> See what I was up against here? My kids are supposed to have grease paint in their veins. And they're acting like they know no more about show business than if their father was a plumber. What'd you do, give up? Me give up? Kid, I'm Tiger Williams. I never give up. I kept talking to him. I told him about the palace, how it was full of traditions and memories. The great stars that had appeared there. Will Rogers and Burt Williams and Fanny Bryson, and Al Jolson, Sir Harry Lauder. And then when I figured I had him softened up, I made my big move. Your daddy's in a great business. And honestly, I wouldn't trade places with any man on earth. You see, kids, the butcher, the baker, the grocer, the clerk, are secretly unhappy men because the butcher, the baker, the grocer, the clerk, Get paid for what they do with no applause. They'd gladly bid their dreary jobs goodbye for anything theatrical. And why? There's no business like show business, like no business I know. Everything about it is a feeling. Everything the traffic will allow. Nowhere do you get that happy feeling when you are stealing the extra bow. And there's no people like show people while they smile when they are low. Yesterday they told you you would not go far. That night you open and there you are. Next day on your dressing room, they've hung the star. Let's go on with our show. Well, you just proved my point. Have? Sure, after you took them down at the palace, they made a big fuss over you, didn't they? Yeah, but I can't go around singing there's no business like show business for the rest of my life. Oh, don't be silly. They love you and you know it. Yeah, that's why they forgot all about my birthday. You know something? I'm going down to get myself a birthday cake. Surprise! 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 Aww. <laughs> Say. Isn't it remarkable what they can do with an erector set these days? We're sorry we had to make you wait, Daddy, but we didn't expect you home this early, and the cake wasn't ready yet. Besides, we were short a dollar to pay for it, so I had to wait for my allowance. Well, how about that? You mean this is all for me? Of course, Daddy. Didn't you remember? This is your birthday. Hey, that's right. Today is my birthday. I forgot all about it. My kids, they, they never forget their daddy. <laughs> You know, I remember when they were real little. Hold it. You're gonna need that hot air to blow out all these candles. <laughs> Come on. Make a wish. Come on. Come on. Oh, all right. Get